Okay, people, did you ever hear of the expression feast or famine? What I mean by that in this case is that it's a feast because sometimes the, you, you know, you have money burning a hole in your pocket and there's nothing to buy. And then other times there's so much stuff you don't have enough money for it. Things always come at the wrong time. I don't know why. I've got a lot of bills right now, important things to pay off and things that I want. And this is the worst time for this to happen. It is Halloween time. So a lot of movies came in. A lot of them seal. Most of them seal, I think, here. And I'm going to share these with you, okay? Uh, now, when I say that it's uh, a feast here, you might also be able to say that it's a blood feast. Okay, now look. When I say feast, I'm not kidding. This is not a box of cereal yet. This is... <laughs> A feast, a blood feast, the Herschel Gordon Lewis feast. Okay, I'm not kidding when I said feast of famine, huh? I think what I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to save this for its own video. I'm going to open this and explore this with you. This has the godfather of gore, Herschel Gordon Lewis, his films, which I think 14 essential films. Well, they're not essential, really, pretty much, but... I could not, I could not resist this, and I'll talk about this in its own video. That's the first thing I wanted to show you. Okay, that's I got quite a feast. All right, now let's show you the stuff that I got here. Now a lot of these are going to be upgrades, things that I already have, but I'm kind of upgrading. All right, and to start with, I'm going to show you one here that's an upgrade to Blu-ray from DVD. This is not. Uh, by any means a horror film i don't think so uh a horror collection i should say it's the marx brothers okay comedies i got this blu-ray set sealed never opened five newly restored classic comedies the coconuts animal crackers monkey business horse feathers and duck soup so now i've got a blu-ray i was thinking of getting this at some point you see these are things that have been on my radar for a while okay all right from 1977, James Brolin in The Car. And being that this is Halloween month, and being that I'm going to be doing what you call a Halloween mayothon, some of these may be featured in there. Okay, now I, I don't know if I had Young Frankenstein yet on Blu-ray, so here it is. Young Frankenstein with the slipcase. On Blu-ray. Wasn't sure if I had that. Uh, this one here, this is The Fly, the original Fly from 1958 with Vincent Price. Now, you may be surprised to hear me say what I'm going to say, but I like the sequels better. There were two sequels, The Return of the Fly and The Curse of the Fly. And those I have. I have a, a three DVD box set back there. And I almost didn't buy this one, but it's only five bucks. And it's, it's open. It's not sealed. So I thought, well, why not? Because it's five bucks. But uh, it's the sequels that I really want. I like the sequels. They, re they really stretch the envelope. Okay, this was a William Castle double feature. Again, for five bucks. Homicidal and Mr. Sardonicus. Uh, I think I have both. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I have both of them on DVD. Did I need them on Blu-ray? Well, this one was five bucks. So, yeah. Okay. All right. Okay, this is not one of my favorite films. You may be surprised to hear me say Universal Sci-Fi, This Island Earth. No, I'm not talking about the Mystery Science Theater version. Okay, I have nothing but disdain for Mystery Science Theater. So just so you know that, uh, as soon as one guy at the store saw this, oh yeah, that was funny, MS, M MST. No, no, take it seriously. But I've never been a big fan of this because there's not much monster action or anything in it till the end. Okay, now we do Hammer Horror. Plague of the Zombies, but I mentioned these are sealed. These are sealed. So I got them at reduced prices, but you know, they add up. Let me tell you, they did add up. You know, Plague of the Zombies. This is an upgrade of the Green Slime, which I have on a DVD. Now, this is a movie I've never seen before. Maybe I'll try to get it on, possibly, for the uh, Halloween month. The infamous Kaltiki, the immortal monster, which I've never seen before. Uh, we'll see. <laughs> uh, 
This is an upgrade. It came from Outer Space, Universal Science Fiction Classic. Uh, it's in 3D and 2D. I don't have a 3D player or 3D TV, so I'll be watching in 2D. This is another upgrade. It's a sleazy film called The Horror of Party Beach, which I have on a, uh, I think it's a DVD collection with a double feature. Uh, I'm pretty sure that this is uh, only a DVD that I have. The Tingler with Vincent Price. I have this on a DVD. This is another upgrade. This is an upgrade. I have this on a, I think, uh, just, just a DVD. 1973 film. That's right. Don't say it. Hiss it. That was the tagline. And, uh, yeah, it says it right there. I think, I think I'm kidding you. Don't say it. Hiss it. And the thing about this is, I know the version that I have had like a, I think a little nudity blurred out. It was like a safety copy. I hope this one uh, unblurs it. <laughs> this is an upgrade. This is a slasher film, Happy Birthday to Me, which stars Melissa Sue Anderson, uh, who's on uh, Little House on the Prairie. Uh, this is a slipcase I may keep because, I mean, I want this cover. This is the cover I want. I think this has an interchangeable cover. I think you can go inside here and switch it. That's a classic poster. So, here's a film upgrading to Blu-ray. I had this on DVD for 20 years or something like that. Never saw it yet. Never watched it. It's Gorgo. The giant monster flick, but Blu ray, you know, sometimes makes you want to check it out because of the Blu ray factor, you know, whereas you wouldn't watch something. Uh, Universal Classic Tarantula, okay, for the 50s. Uh, this is an upgrade, and some of these I didn't know if I upgraded yet. I, I think I've been meaning to upgrade this, but didn't. It's a made for TV movie, Frankenstein, the true story with Jane Seymour. Uh, this one is probably going to, I'm probably going to get this on for Halloween month. Okay, here's uh, another sealed one. Hammer Films Collection. You got the two faces of Dr. Jekyll. Pretty bad, that one. Scream of Fear, which I remember being pretty good. The Gorgon, uh, Stop Me Before I Kill, and The Curse of the Mummy's Tomb. Here we got uh, a British anthology film, From Beyond the Grave. Different stories featured here. More Hammer Horror. The Mummy Shroud. Don't remember this being too good, but uh, anyway, the Mummy looks good anyway. Another kind of dull Hammer Horror that uh, I think the monster is good, though. At the end. <laughs> the Reptile. Blu-ray. These are all these are sealed, though. These. I don't know if you can tell that, but they are. Uh, here's, uh, another boring mummy film from Hammer. Blood from the Mummy's Tomb. You might say, well, well, why do you have this then? What are you buying if they're boring? Well, I want the whole collection at some point. And I do want the nice Blu-ray quality. And they're, they're nice looking films, even if not all of them are that exciting. I am a Hammer fan, by the way. I do love Hammer Horror. It's just that some of them are more enticing than others. That's all. This is really good. The House of the Dripped Blood. This is a Blu-ray sealed, uh, upgrade from the DVD. Several stories in here. This is one that I've really wanted for a while. And I got this for a really good price. A uh, Blu-ray of one of my favorite Japanese monster films, Mothra. The original Mothra. Still sealed. And uh, this is great that I got this one. I think this is the one to go for. This is the one you really want. This I have this on DVD. Okay, here's Scream and Scream Again. Which is a fun film. Vincent Price, A Tour de Force with Theater of Blood. I have this on a DVD. Now I got it on a Blu-ray. That's a nice Tour de Force. I love it. Now, this is an upgrade. This is a fun film, and I'm glad I got a hold of it. Lon Chaney, Lon Chaney Jr., in one of his best late roles from 1960s, Spider Baby. Highly recommended. Some of these will get on. I've been meaning to pick up a Blu-ray enhanced copy of this film. And now I've got it. House of Wax from 1953. I do not have 3D, as I said. So I'll watch the, the regular version, the regular Blu-ray 2D version. But the, 
This has a 3D cover, which is really, really nice. Okay, one of the best horror films ever made. It used to go by the name of Horror Hotel. This is City of the Dead, a.k.a. Horror Hotel, a great, great horror film. One of my top ten horror films of all time. And the thing about this is, I forget if this is the one you want or not. I know there's been a big thing, a big hassle about some of these that came out were not as good as others. And I think this might be the one that's not that desirable. You know, VCI has put things out. And I, I got to say, VCI has screwed up a bunch of times. And uh, this is the VCI, isn't it? Yeah. I don't know if this is the, 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 the one you want or maybe this is the one you don't want. I don't know. Either way, this is the one I'm going to try out. And that's it, folks. Now, there were other films there, other Blu-rays I wanted, and maybe another time, maybe another time perhaps. But uh, this is great to share with you this Halloween month. So uh, please subscribe if you haven't already. And also be on the lookout for this entire month of October 2023, my Halloween Mayothon. See ya.